the Data Cloud Diaries, ingesting from Amazon S3 some new cool updates to Data Cloud. Welcome back to the Data Cloud Diaries. One of my first Data Cloud Diaries was about ingesting data from Amazon S3 into Data Cloud, and there were a series of steps that you had to follow. What's really interesting, I was working on a project recently, and the steps had changed. I actually really like how they've changed. I think it really facilitates being able to add additional data streams. So I'm gonna walk you through talking about what is different in Data Cloud now versus what, what it was before and how I think it's a lot better. And I think you'll like it also. So here's my S3 bucket. And you can see these are sample data sources that I've gotten. This is a uh, public information on airports. We've got airports, countries, nav age, regions, and runways. So these are all data file CSVs on my S3. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at how we load them into my data cloud. And I'll talk about how I like the new mechanism. Now here's data cloud, and you used to be able just to hit the new button, and this would allow you to create a new data stream. And there used to be the ability to pick S3, and it's not there when you first come in cold. There's no S3 button. You do see all the, the MuleSoft exchanges, but no S3. So I then determined that these are the modified steps. Go to your data cloud setup, and then you're gonna go to connectors. And from here, we're gonna create a connector to S3. And this is where we're gonna be putting in the connection name. This is gonna be my open airport data. So I'll go OA, and this is where we're gonna put in our AWS credentials. So here, I'm gonna put in a connector name for OA for my open airport data. I'm gonna give it a name of OA. And then what I'm gonna do is plug in the AWS access key and the AWS secret access key. And I'm gonna give it my bucket name, which is STA, Steve Tech Arc Demo, and the root directory for the folders. Then you can hit the test button. And as you'll see, it, the connection was established. What I like about this is we're creating a connector to S3 where we have put in our credentials and it's actually gonna accelerate us going forward. So I'm back here on my um, data streams and I hit new and now you'll notice that the data stream does show up as another source. So this S3 and then a great thing about this is it's I don't have to keep plugging in my credentials. So I hit new and there it is, my OA credential. So you can also separate your concerns, have your sysadmins who have the credentials and you can then um, have your uh, data people who are doing the data mappings be able to pick the connection and not have to be plugging in those credentials every time. So now what's really nice is I can come in here, um, I can look at my bucket and I had my hour airports, I just put in that directory We'll come in right here, plug in the directory, and I'm gonna give it the file name. So I can come back here and I can just say airports.csv. We are right here, airports. So this is gonna be on, and I get to flag the source name. So we'll just, you know, give it an, OW, you know, an OA. So I'm giving it a source name of OA, our airports, hit next. Oop. O W. We'll just go O W. You know A S three. O A. And now I'm going to hit next. Got to get the naming just right. And it's been able to connect, reach my data, and I can do the mappings. Now I'm going to use this to a new data lake object called Airport. This is not engaged profile data, not engagement data. So I'm gonna consider it other data. I'm gonna use the ID and no, I don't need the record modifier. So here I'm gonna bring in airport data, hit next, confirm, doing the default namespace and hit deploy. So this is a two-step process for me to be able to create the data stream. First create the connector, and then go from there. But here's the true power. I can go back to my data streams and I can just hit new again. 
hit S3, and I don't need to put the credentials in. So what we can do is grab another one. We will take regions. We can just go from the folder. So here's our folder right there. Make sure you have the proper slash. Here we go, put the proper slash. We're gonna go regions.csv. Notice I don't need to put in my S3 credentials anymore. We'll go S3 OA, hit next. Let's, oh, I think it's singular region. Let's double check. Let's actually pull the name. And now you can see I can import the data. We'll make it other. We'll pull in the ID. Next. Double check. And deploy. Now, I just want to highlight that if you move quick and don't actually change the name, you see that you can actually get the file name in the region. So safety tip is as you create your data streams, make sure you're familiar with the name. So I'm going to go ahead for this case, just to show how easy it is before I start mapping, I'm going to delete the data stream. There aren't any associated mappings. And then it's very straightforward to go map it again, S3. We're gonna take the import from directory, grab the file, the directory name, our airports in my particular case. Here, the file name, and you saw that I can just grab and highlight the file name. We're gonna go, you know, S3OA. And then my safety tip is when you go to the next screen, make sure you change its name. So here is region, other, and select the primary key. Next, notice I'm not having to plug the um, S3 keys in anymore. So I've double checked and deploy. So in this particular situation, I like the separation of the connectors for S3 where I can put in the credentials, the AWS credentials. And once that's set up, potentially even different people could be quickly creating the data streams from that connector. Um, it just, I found I was able to plug them in much quicker for secondary data streams, recreate them, and I didn't have to be touching the key. So definitely a kudos to the data cloud development team for creating the connector. I think it's a great add-on. There's some other great new features that have been coming in, and I'm going to show you those in some other videos. So thank you for joining the cool updates. Join me again. Same bat time, same bat channel, and more videos are coming. Have a great day.